right, this is Curtis Camponi with Quotes Across Locations. I appreciate you participating in episode two with me. I'm actually in downtown Dunedin. I went down here to go on a run. My goal was to do a 5K, but I only made it two and a half miles. And when those two and a half miles were up, I looked, I saw the water, I saw a bench. I said, why not do episode two of Quotes Across Locations here? It's a gorgeous breeze coming right off the water, a nice little overcast. Let's make it happen. I, again, I'll take a picture of where I'm at and we'll put it as the background for the podcast. So Quotes Across Locations, how it's going to work is I'm going to do a quick search on quotes that have to do with a particular topic. We read them or I read them. <laughs> And hopefully you'll participate in the um, thought experiment with me as I read these quotes and think about if it applies to you. Uh, does it mean anything to you? Maybe it doesn't. That's the beautiful thing about quotes is sometimes they connect with us, they resonate with us, and sometimes they don't, and that's okay. Uh, the idea here is if you could read something that could uplift you, inspire you, and motivate you, why not expose yourself to that? So that's why this podcast, this podcast exists. And other special announcement. I am turning 40 on August 11th. So for the topic of this podcast for Quotes Across Locations, why not talk about getting older? So I'm going to Google uh, quotes about getting older. We're going to talk about it. You let me know your thoughts and we'll see what happens. So here we go. All right. The first one is do not regret growing older. It is a privilege denied to so many. Do not regret growing older is a privilege denied to so many i agree with this quote i never really understood the anguish or um, talk about getting older it really is just leveling up you're learning more you have more experience uh, more wisdom more lessons you've learned ideally that's the whole point right you experience things you then take lessons from those experiences and then you apply those lessons to your future experiences, which hopefully uh, put you in a position to improve, grow and learn more. And you just keep evolving. And that's the thing about birthdays and turning 40. Whoa. Spoiler alert. I am turning 40. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's a lot of experiences. All right. Let's look at number two. Growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. Walt Disney. Growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional yeah i have that little kid in us right i know with my little one when we're playing soccer ball in the house and doing uh dances to maui from moana singing you're welcome in those moments uh, i'm not grown up in those moments i'm right where she is and that's a beautiful thing you got you can't take yourself too seriously i'll tell you right now in these day and age Jeez, you go on social media, everybody's taking themselves incredibly serious. <laughs> Such passionate opinions. Um, things usually, they, they don't really have a real impact on or can control. Again, we're in um, town Dunedin, Florida, at a local park right by the marina. It's gorgeous out here, tons of boats, mothers, fathers with their kids. It's really peaceful. It's nice when there's a little bit of overcast, so it's that Florida heat isn't too brutal. So let's talk about another quote. Age is an issue of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mark Twain. Age is an issue of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm born and raised in Tampa. But the first thing that came to mind when I read that quote was Tom Brady. They told that guy, look, it's not happening. You can't do it. You're almost 40. But his mindset wasn't. So if you believe your age is preventing you from doing X, Y, or Z or pursuing your dreams, then that's not your age. That's your perception of your age. So age is, an, age is an issue of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Now, I will be honest, those 5Ks are getting harder. But perhaps that's less to do with age and more with some other factors. Uh, let's do another one. You don't stop laughing when you grow old, but you grow old when you stop laughing. I'll tell you, when I travel, like traveling across Florida, Oklahoma, California, New York, Pennsylvania, Missouri, the one thing that transcends cultures is laughter and people's desire to laugh and tell jokes and tell funny stories. So um, if you're not laughing, you don't get the joke. Start laughing. So before we wrap up, 
this episode, let's talk a little bit about being 40 real quick. A story I always like to tell is I remember vividly in one of my first days at sixth grade. I was in middle school, sixth grade, and the teacher was explaining what to expect in the sixth grade year and then seventh grade and eighth grade. And then she even started talking about high school. And I remember vividly she was talking about ninth grade being around the corner despite us being in sixth grade. I looked at her and said, what? You know how much time we have before then? That's not even close to where we are now. And now I'm speaking with you thinking, wow. Not only was sixth grade right near ninth grade, it was also right near 40. A blink of an eye and it's gone. So I guess the challenge then is, what are you gonna do today that you haven't done yesterday? What are you gonna learn today? What knowledge are you gonna have today? The new experience you sought out, the new person you spoke with, the new place you went. Every time you do something new, take on a new experience, it's an opportunity for a new lesson, a new view, a new outlook on life. There's another quote that is on this topic. I can't remember who said it, but they said, be better than yesterday before tomorrow comes. So what are you gonna do? Let go of something new. Get a new experience. Be grateful for the age you are, whatever you are right now. It's a gift. Tomorrow is a gift. It's not deserved. Talk to someone new. Go sit somewhere new. Learn something new. Do something that makes you feel good, makes you happy, makes you laugh. If when I was 14, I thought 40 was light years away, and that means now that I'm 40, 60, 70, it's a blink of an eye. I beg you, just one new thing that'll make you happy. Go do that. One new experience, one new lesson. Grow, evolve. And I'm telling you this while also telling this to myself. I gotta figure out something new to do this weekend then. <laughs> something new to learn. <sighs> I wanna thank you for taking some time with me. This was Quotes Across Locations, episode two, downtown Dunedin. I look forward to seeing you episode three. Who knows where I'll be, but I will be one year older. Appreciate y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Check me out on Transistor, all social medias, at Speak for MC, Speak for Motivating Change. Be that person that has a positive impact on the world, those around you, and go learn. You got this. Peace.